Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video and another episode, obviously, of Jurassic Park. Now today we're going to be building the Dilophosaurus exhibit as I've just thought recently that Museum has taken up quite a few episodes, so I thought it'd be nice, you know, if we just moved on and we just got onto something a bit different. Now, you guys have been requesting a new dinosaur and I thought, what better one to bring the Dilophosaurus in? Um, it's kind of one that... I've had a thought about for a while now, we've planned out the exhibit, I'm really excited to bring you guys the exhibit, I mean I've got loads of different exhibits to bring, obviously the museum still needs finishing, I'll show you that next episode hopefully, if I've got the roofing done, but anyway guys, we're going to move on to the Dilophosaurus exhibit. Now, I'm feeling as though it should probably go in a bit of like a dip, somewhere, you know, with a fair bit of room that we can use, maybe... Um, we'll go here actually. Here will be a nice little place. There's only food because I'm about to starve to death. Oh, great start to the episode. Got no food. Oh well, we don't really need it. Now, the idea is, as long as I get my axe, which I said I won't need, but now I do. Um, the idea is we're going to be quite a confined and condensed exhibit. Now, by this, I mean we're going to literally spam a load of trees into the exhibit. Now the reasoning for this is so that it's quite condensed and thick and it's like the Dilophosaurus is in its natural habitat which will be really really nice to see and that's be part of. I only think we need one to be fair, we might get two in, I don't know, I mean at the minute we've got one on the go up there so it's ready as soon as we can. But what we're going to do is, nice and simple, it's not going to be a massive exhibit, so, no because it's right near the thing you know, that's right near the entrance, we need it. Here. Perfect. Here I'll do. That'll be completely fine. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go bang, 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 bang. And what we're going to do is basically fill the whole way across here, like the outskirts of it, with cobbles, uh, with stone bricks. And it, should, it doesn't need to be massive. That's probably big enough, as I'm going to say. Obviously these are all rough estimates, guys. It can be bigger, it can be smaller. You guys can let me know if it needs improving. Or what else needs doing, just let me know guys. Honestly, just let me know. There we go. That's plenty. That's plenty of room. And then, quite simply, just finish it off. Nicely link it up again. It's not going to be too hard to do this exhibit, to be fair. Obviously, as it's been well thought, uh, thought through. So I have a really good idea of what I want to do. But if we just come over to here, this is what I will be doing. Uh, get the shovel out now. It's pretty much going to be me just clearing everything up. Now the idea is to have a condensed space with, I believe, a waterfall at the background. It's like a bit of a backdrop, so it's it's almost like quite a secluded place, meaning quite you know on its own, um, almost abandoned if you will, not being touched by any human activity, which would be really really nice to do for once. Because lately, what we've done pretty much is builds of people so what I'm going to say is if we do something along these lines and like build it up there like one at a time like that and what we'll do is keep getting a load more dirt so I do have another shovel which is ideal because right now I need to take all this out but yeah so the idea is going to be pretty much just take out all of this level out the land because I need this dirt for the mountain, if you want to call it that, or the waterfall. But again, we're just going to carry on like this. It's just going to be pretty much fitted together like so, just so we have like, a running bit of water coming out from the top. Now, this will be done quite nicely, I'm hoping. But what do we need? What do we need from here? Then we're going to go straight for the iron bars, to be fair. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll go iron bars around here like so. Now we're going to use these iron bars, but initially what I want to do underneath the iron bars, on either side of us, so on here we'd have glass, and on this bit here we'd have glass. Um, just so like we've got a bit of natural lighting coming through, because I don't really want much light coming through within the exhibit. I don't want to have to put torches up. I want it to be quite natural, so at night it looks quite airy, and it'll look very, very nice overall. So if we just carry on the way we're going, it's just pretty much just getting the iron bars all nicely placed up here. I think we should have enough. There's 31 left. 
just to get across to there. So yeah, we should have plenty. Oh no, we've still got to do two layers. Damn it. I'm going to need more. I'll go and get that later. Like so. Bang. And it's going to be too high. Not mean like too, too high, but like two is in number two. Um, but what we're going to do is quickly get this bit sorted. Nicely like that. Do we have any more? No, we don't. That's fine. That'll do anyway. And then I want glass on each side of here. Do I want it on this side? I don't. I don't want it on this side, and that's just wasted a bit of glass. But you know what? We can get loads more glass. I can do it off camera. I can go and get a load more glass. So just nothing to worry about, guys. Nothing to worry about. Now, what I want to do is put glass round the first bit, like the first block in of the exhibit, just like this. This is so when we do eventually get some torches in, it does give the airy look. Don't do that, Ben. That messes things up and screws over the idea. There we go. Now, this bit all here will be filled in, so that's going to be fine. Like so. Is that going to be enough? We'll find out. So, we'll do this and then go across like so. It's not going to be enough. I reckon there's four. that four is going to be the difference now. It generally is. One, two, three. Wow. The ones I didn't mess up with, I didn't mess it up with, I it done. Oh dear me. Oh well. We didn't need it specifically. But what I'm going to do is very quickly just dig down here. I need my pickaxe. And all we're going to do is start digging down. I think it's going to be five blocks each, to be fair. I want to say that's all I'm going to need to dig down. Yeah, that's fine. Is there one next to it? Is that? Yeah, it is, isn't it? There's one next to it. Yeah, that's fine. And now, just finishing off whatever we need to get done, really. It's literally just quite a basic build today, hopefully. He says with so much confidence, knowing that it's all going to bugger up with one simple move. I need to leave that down there actually so I can place torches. Oh, I've got any with me. Yeah, I do actually. That's fine. What we're going to do is hopefully something like that on each one. Maybe not on all of them. Maybe one every two would be fine. And if you place, like, say, I don't know, a cob piece of cobblestone next to them, that'll darken it as well. And then it looks something like that. So we've got a bit of light just shining up from here. Which I reckon. When it's sorted, will look really nice. Right, let's go down here. Like this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away, guys, and get the rest of this sorted so you guys aren't worrying too much. Because it is pretty much just repeating what I've just done there the whole way around the exhibit. Like so. So I'll be back with you guys in just a minute when it is all sorted. See you in just a second. Guys, and welcome back to the second part I guess you'd call it but pretty much what we're gonna be doing now is building a rooftop to the exhibit I'll show you what I've done in there in a minute because I've done pretty much the entire exhibit to be fair but I just need to get this bit sorted first so it look a little something like this so what I want to do is essentially build uh, two floors to this so we have two ways of accessing like viewpoints because we're going to be looking in on it like that. Obviously, the rest of these will grow in time. I mean, I've got some bone meal. Which I'm going to look to get them sorted in just a second. But I want two platforms. Obviously, iron bars going around. It's still up the top. I don't have any more, actually. I'll have to get them at some point. Oh, wait. I've got my iron here, haven't I? So, if I just quickly do this. Like so. I'll just put the crafting table here. Why not? And it's like this, I believe. 16, so we go, that should be plenty. Absolutely tons. So yeah, what the idea is, I want to go around the top section here, just one here, because they can't get out. It's just more of like, if we ever got people onto the server, and if we ever got like citizens walking around, the last thing we want is babies falling into a Dilophosaurus exhibit. Not ideal, to say the least. But yeah, the idea is, I want to have the waterfall sorted, which we'll also get done in a second, because that's why I brought the waterfall. We'll probably need some more in a bit. If I just run around to the other side, that'd be good. But yeah, I, I decided to use a few of the you know ancient prehistoric trees that we have with us 
I decided to use them so they should work out really, really nicely um, into the exhibit. Oh, that's going to be annoying because I kind of liked having that there. But I'm going to have to get rid of it to get past. Oh, well. So, yeah, pretty much it's just going to be getting the rest of this sorted and then we should be re ready to get a Dilophosaurus in. Now, if you guys do actually quite like this exhibit, um, just let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. That would be awesome because I'm thinking of replicating a few of these, changing it up, obviously. But the idea is I want to have two floors. One where it just goes up and another one's like, oh, yeah, here's a general viewing platform of it. The second one is literally just like we go up here. Oh, look, and you've got a whole way around the exhibit which will be placed like so. It might just be here, actually. I'm not too sure. It could be this just this first row here, depending on how much I want to do. Let's have a look. Um, just get the rest of this bit here, like that. And then it's hopefully going to go the rest of the way around the exhibit. I need to smelt that, actually. Beautiful. Right, so what's basically going to happen is now I'm going to use my bone meal, jump down into here, and get a few of these going. Oh, I do like that tree. Oh, that is a nice tree. That is nice. Oh, Christ, I'm stuck in the tree. I'm stuck in the tree. Where do I go? How do I get out? There we go. But yeah, it's basically just condensing it. Don't think it's having any of it for that one. Come on, you can do it. Okay, maybe not. That one won't do it. Basically, it's pretty much just getting the whole tr uh, areas of the trees condensed. Why won't some of these do it? But it's like that. So it's going to go all the way around. Obviously, we have a sheep down there. It's pretty much screwed. But um, what we're going to do now is very quickly just get the, wa uh, the water placed in. So that when we go around like this, it looks nice. Obviously, I'll fill up the hole of that with water. But I just want to come back and show you guys what needs doing. Because apart from that, I need to go and get a load more bone meal. It's just to show you guys the general bits that are going to be done. It's going to be quite condensed. There will be enough room for the Dilophosaurus to roam, obviously, or else what was the point of it? It's going to be quite condensed around here. I want to try and eventually get some shrubs in. But yeah, guys, so that is pretty much... I want to put one there now. Now I've seen it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is go away and get the rest of these uh, saplings ready. Hopefully they'll either spawn naturally or they'll be ready when we're sorted. But when I come back, guys, it should look all nice and be finished. So I'll see you in just a second. Hey guys, welcome back. And as you can see, we have completed the build there or thereabouts. So I'm just going to run through it with you guys. Obviously, we've got a little downward section going right the way around here where we can view um, the Dilophosaurus at all angles. I think I'm actually going to leave the water in like that for now. Just because I quite like it, but I will add other bits in when it comes to it. We've got a little bit of a backboard that I put in here with a bit of light, so that when we're going around here it looks really nice. Oh, I forgot to put this bit in here. Damn it. Let me just put these in for you guys, just so it's easier when we walk around. And then we'd walk around and it would appear out here, like so. Now, the point of this is obviously to have dirt around here just to use up the resources. But it's to have a 360 degree, uh, degree view of Dilophosaurus. And I also need your guys' opinions whether you think we should have just the one or whether we should have two to brine it up. Now, primarily, Dilophosauruses are predatory hunters, territorial as well, so they wouldn't actually be on their own. But uh, they do come to mate, obviously, so we could have a boy and a girl if we wanted to. Now, if we just hop inside the enclosure for two seconds, do you think the water we need any more water in or not, guys? Let me know if I just quickly show you there. Do you guys reckon we need to fill it all with water, or it's happy like that? I do not know. I would probably add more water in, I would assume. So I think that's what I'm going to do now, actually. But yeah, guys, pretty much apart from that, we're just going to head back up to the house and collect the Dilophosaurus, because it should be an egg by now. And then we can come back down here, get it all sorted, get the egg hatched, and round off the episode. Because I haven't really done much talking in this episode with you guys, to be fair. I think it's quite a quick one. But it's been nice. It's been an effective one. So I want to do something. Yeah, it'll look nicer when it's got everything put in, actually. Well, it's all the water. So what I'll do is, while we do this, guys, I just want to know, how do you guys reckon this series has gone? Now, there will be another series coming out once I've finished this one, but this one is a mile away from being finished. To be honest with you guys, there's absolutely loads to do. And I need to eat the steak I went back to the house for earlier, because I'm running out of food again. So we might have to have a mining episode next. I know it's obviously not brilliant. 
Let me know, guys, whether I should do the mining episode off camera or whether you want me to do it on camera. Let me know. Because if it's off camera, then that's fine. I'll just go away and I'll just go and dig up loads of stuff, get a load of fossils, and we can see how it goes from there. But yeah, guys, just let me know how you think um, it'll go. Alright, just quickly collect up this. So yeah, it's pretty much just collecting the rest of this water, getting it all sorted and transferred across. That reminds me, actually, we need to start and make little bits of um, more stairs coming down here or transportation of some form. But yeah, so it should go really nicely. I need to get, um, what's it called? I need to get like a cart going all the way around. Maybe I can take that out and it not affect. Oh yeah, I can take that out now, that's brilliant. Good. Oops, missed it. Yeah, so now I can just take all this out, can't I? That's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, that's nicer actually. I do prefer it like so. Just like this. And it's pretty much just a matter of getting one bit in there, and there we go, guys. Oh, wait, just here. And there we go. So that does look a lot nicer actually. I do prefer it like that. So what we're going to do now guys is head back up to the house and then from there we can place in the Dilophosaurus and we will be good to go. All exciting stuff guys, all exciting stuff. Now if you guys do want to see me put another one in, obviously I can do so. If you guys think just one, let me know in the comment section below as you awesome people always do. And yeah, so if we just make our way quickly back up, there will be another eight exhibits I believe after this and then I think we are about done so within that time period there's absolutely tons and tons of stuff to do obviously it won't just be exhibits that we're adding it can also be you know builds uh, it can be buildings it can be visitor center obviously like we've done a visitor center over there there can be absolutely tons of stuff guys but there we go Dilophosaurus egg is down and ready for us to go in place so let's get it sorted and get across nice and quickly now then level 48 as well that's a really high level at the minute so I'm assuming that we're going to need at some point to get an enchantment table. So again, something that can be done off camera or on camera, let me know. Loads of different things to do. Now, if we just hurry this up and jump in here, we can get it nice and sorted. Uh, where should we go? We'll place it right by the water. We'll place it by this tree here. But sadly, we do need to wait for it to come, become t night time, so we need to go back and go to bed, ideally. And I want the Dilophosaurus to be my friend, so next time I jump in the cage, it doesn't attempt to kill me straight away. Oh dear, so much, so much stuff to do, guys. Absolutely tons and tons of stuff to do in very little time, in very little time. So, just quickly nip back upstairs, go to bed, we'll come back down, and then it should be about sorted I'm hoping now just gonna make our way back let's get that sorted but generally um, it's been quite a productive episode I believe let me know guys obviously your thoughts and opinions on it but I generally think it's been a very productive episode obviously from almost killing ourselves straight at the beginning of the episode wasn't ideal but apart from that it's been really good we've got whatever we need to done and the house is looking ten times better overall but more importantly, the Dilophosaurus exhibit is looking great. It's really how I envisioned it. So it's now daytime, so if we hurry on, back downstairs, and to the exhibit, we don't really need the Dinopedia, we'll just wait until it um, hatches. But yeah, apart from that, we are pretty much sorted. It's been good, it's been really good. Do I need anything else there? Hmm. No, it should be okay. Yeah, it'll be warm, so it's fine. But yeah, guys, let me know. Do you reckon this exhibit is big enough for two, or whether just the one will be fine? Because I don't know what size they grow to initially. And they can't. I'm just trying to find out if they can get out anyway. No, they can't get out anyway. Wait. No, they can't get out anyway this way. He won't get. He won't jump up there. I know that for a fact. I know I can do it, but I don't think he's quite clever enough to do it. Um, no way he can get out this way. 
I do like these bits so down here. That is nice. It is a nice form of light. No, overall, I don't believe they can get out. Unless he decides he is big enough to crawl through everything. Could he get out this way? He might be able to get out that way. And that might be a problem. Problem solved. Beautiful. And he's not, he's not um, small enough to get out there. So yeah, I think it's 100% bulletproof. Oh, Dilophosaurus proof anyway. But yeah guys, it's just literally now a matter of waiting for it to hatch. Which shouldn't take too long. really wish I had my Dinopedia with me. It would have been ideal. But yeah guys, absolutely excited. I saw it moving. I think it means it's on about 85 out of 100 I believe. When that happens, I'm not too sure to be honest guys. I'm just completely having a guess. Come on then. Hatch. Hatch for me. You can do it. Anytime now. I'll hide. Hide behind the tree and hope when it hatches. It's on its own. Oh, it's hatched. Oh, look at it. Oh, bless. New dinosaur. Brilliant. I'm really pleased with that. That's a really nice dinosaur. Yeah, I'm happy with that, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you guys can let me know names for Dilophosaurus, whether it be boy or girl, it can be either Dion or Deanna. It could be Dylan. Literally, guys, let me know any names, uh, beginning with a D, hopefully, that can you know be useful. But there we go, guys. That is. It's not. It's not set to follow me, is it? Don't be set to follow me. Don't be set to follow me. Don't be set to follow me. I can't. Okay, so it needs a bone. Brilliant. Well, if I run across here, will it follow me across? It's gonna follow me across, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Right. I'll sort of camera, guys. But there you go guys, thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you have enjoyed. Remember guys, let me know how the series is going and names for our Dilophosaurus in the comment section below, that would be awesome. Make sure to like, subscribe, all the good stuff guys, stay active, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Yeah.